excited are you that you're not that, or that not excited are you that you have to play Scadaboo? <laughs> <laughs> we missed it by a week, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, he's a phenomenal player. He's really good. I, I, you know, I. There's a lot of really good backs in this league, and it's hard to compare and contrast them. But he's right up there with any of them. Um, unbelievable contact balance, competitor. Um, just I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a big um, stat guy, but I bet he breaks as many tackles as anybody in the league or in the country, for that matter. Um, yeah, he's a, he's a good football player. Their quarterback is another one who can run the it's ball. And it feels like it's been probably five weeks of that. Uh, yeah, there's yeah. something that he does in particular that sort of stands out to you? The first thing that, that I thought when I saw him was just how decisive he is. I don't think he hesitates when he either sees what he likes or doesn't see what he likes. Um, you know, he's quick to pull it down and scramble if he doesn't see what he likes. Um, he's quick to pull the trigger uh, on something that's open. Um, He's decisive when he's pulling the ball in their in their read game. He's decisive in their RPO game. I mean, he's um, for a younger player. He's he's another one that's uh, they got a really good uh, combination of guys over there. What did they show you offensively last week without Scadaboo, and they still won? Well, schematically they're very sound, and so I, that didn't surprise me that they were able to move the ball and do some things. Um, I mean, they've got a, a tremendous uh, receiver core too, and. Um, you know, when you put all those things in, in conjunction, the weapons that they have, I, I feel like they have some um, good receiving tight ends as well. Yeah, they got a lot of weapons. I mean, there's not a one-dimensional team. Scadaboo's just so good that, you know, people think that he's the reason, and, and he is a big part of the reason, but they, they have other ways that they can get you. Are there any up-and-coming guys in the defense who reminded you how excited you are about them during yeah. the bye week? Yeah, there were several. Uh, the two that just jump into my mind right away um, are Jordan Allen and Ryan Davis. Uh, we did a, a little bit more work with guys that um, <clears throat> I, I wouldn't quite call them developmental guys, although they, they probably fit that category. Guys that have played some but haven't been in the mix a ton. Uh, that was kind of the emphasis of our guys, uh, of our practices this past week. And those two guys were were above dominant. There's other people I could name, but those two guys just stood out to me as, as guys that were, were outstanding. When you're playing a quarterback, wants to run the ball and you have a running back who is as talented as Cam Scadabo is, uh, what's the most important thing for the front seven to do to just sort of try and neutralize them as much as possible? Yeah, we're, we're going to have to, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have to control the line of scrimmage and change the line of scrimmage. Um, you know, we're not going to be successful, I don't feel like, tackling this guy if he's able to run downhill at 45 degree angles. And, um, and so our, our ability to get knocked back, our ability to move, our ability to change direction, um, those are going to be paramount, as they are in, in any week, in any run defensive uh, thing. I mean, you, and philosophically, that's not us. I mean, we're not a catch you and read you. I mean, we're going to try to be disruptive as uh, uh, every every chance we can, and, um, and hopefully we can do that and keep him bottled up, and get him stopping his feet in the backfield.